Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, let's look at these two algebra problems. Here, we want to rationalize the denominators for these two problems. So, how do we do that? First, let's give a quick review here. To rationalize the denominator, it means to get rid of all radical roots for the denominator. Here, we can see an example. We have the square root a and the square root b in the denominator, and we try to remove those square root terms in the denominator. So we multiply the square root a minus square root b in both the numerator and denominator. So we got here. We expanded, and we found the cross term cancel out. So we got here. So we can see there's no square root terms in the denominator anymore. For the 1 over square root a minus square root b case, we can play the similar trick here by multiplying square root a plus square root b on both the numerator and the denominator. Then we got here. From this review, we can see we know how to deal with the two term cases. Now we move to the problem. For this problem, we found there's a big difference comparing to the example in the previous slide. Here, we have to deal with the four terms in the denominator. But in the example, we only deal with the two term cases. So how can we do that? Because we know how to deal with the two term case, then we just group them into two parts. And for the second part, we can extract the factor square root 3. Now we can factor out the term 1 plus square root 2. Then we got here. So we have done the factorization. Next, we write it into the product of two fractions. Then we just rationalize them separately. Following the standard steps, we multiply and divide their partners. Simplify it. Then we got the answer. So we have done the problem 1. Then what about the problem 2 here? This one looks much more challenging. I will pause this video so that you can think about it. After 5 seconds, I will resume this video. So for this problem, we have to solve two difficulties. The first one is, we have to deal with three terms in the denominator. And the second difficulty is to deal with the cubic root here, not square root anymore. So how to do that? First, we observe that 4 equals to 2 times 2, 6 equals to 2 times 3, and 9 equals to 3 times 3. Further, we can put them in this way. So can you find some hint from here? Let's introduce some symbols to make it easier to visualize. Here we let a equals to cubic root 2, and b equals to cubic root 3. Then this expression can be written in this way. So what should we do next? Maybe you want to make a complete square. Let's try that. So we add a b and subtract a b. Then we can make the complete square. But this trick doesn't help us at all. Because if we plug in numbers, for example, if we expand the a plus b square, then we got this result. So we have all fraction power index here, such as 2 third or 1 third. Actually, this attempt makes this problem more complicated. So it doesn't work. We have to try other methods. Now let's go back here. Since the complete square doesn't work, what else can we do? And here is the key. If you are familiar with this factorization formula for a cube minus b cube, then we can use this formula to solve this problem. And you can see for the right hand side, we already got a square plus ab plus b square. So we only need to introduce the a minus b term. And then we just multiply a minus b and divide a minus b. In this case, the denominator can be written as a cube minus b cube. And then we just plug in the numbers. And we got the final answer. So we are done. 
So these two problems only need the knowledge of algebra, but it's very tricky to find the idea, especially for the second one. And you can use the calculator to confirm the result. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like it.